what's going on youtube my name is chris and welcome back to another episode of let's play pso2 episode one what is this hardcore one star weapon only edition yeah let's go with that that sounds good i think i'm just gonna keep ad-libbing these titles over and over again until i find one that really just sticks but when we last left off we had just finished chapter six to be perfectly honest this is the first time recording in a couple of days so i don't even remember where we left off completely let's take a quick look so episode one we're on chapter seven left off chapter six we had just oh that's right we had just finished up the draconians gotten the last piece that we needed took it over to our boy zig had a conversation with matoy and of course spoke with the ever so wonderful shion while she gave vague description of what was going on Pretty much standard anyway we're gonna move on into chapter seven let's get started hard work apparently pays off we're gonna go talk with ulk hey sup you say i'm in high spirits <laughs> you can tell huh I was granted special permission, and now I'm officially part of ARCS! Apparently, it's super rare for them to hire people without certain talents. The way I heard it, someone mega important in the top brass happened to see me trying my hardest, and it threw me a bone. I'm pretty surprised myself. It's just barely sinking in now that I'm telling you about it. Yes, yes, yes! I did it! This is great! Now I can finally talk to him with my head held high. It took long enough. I should thank you too. Thank you for listening to me and for all your moral support. It helped me keep going. Guess we'll be Ark's co-workers from now on. See you around, follow operative. Ulk made in Ark's. Nice, nice. Yeah, should be happy. You think I look happy? Gosh, do I really? I can see why you'd think so. I saw my friend smiling for the first time in ages. I guess it was infectious. You know, it's kind of funny. I don't remember if I left my little chibi in the corner for a couple of episodes, but I do record other videos and sometimes I forget to turn him off. So uh, he's just been here for a little while. We're going to go ahead and get rid of him for now. But uh, shout out to him in my other YouTube videos. <laughs> I took the long way around, but I finally caught up with you, she said. She ribbed me plenty, too. But she had this genuine smile, like the one she used to have. It was such a relief. Then again, maybe I was the one forcing myself all this time to be a beat, like her. So when she tells me not to force it, of course, it makes so much sense now. Uh, sorry. You're right here, and I'm caught up in talking to myself. Basically, I'm feeling really dumb right now, but I think I'll be okay. Even if I do act dumb, she'll always be there to set me straight. Man, a lot of episode one was just like little small stories in between individual characters. It's a pretty polarizing difference when you get to later episodes. It's you. More exploration today? You're working hard as ever, I see. Oh, you know each other? Great. Saves me the trouble of an introduction. Would you believe this one's been really nice to me lately? She's been helping me learn about draconian culture. She and I have a mutual interest. Everything she talks about is novel and incredibly interesting to me. Hmm? Right? Well, he 
needs to grow a pair, I swear. Who runs at the sight of a woman? That's just rude. <laughs> I'm honored you think so. How about I talk about the male and female perspective next? There you go. I'll probably be at this for a while. See you around, huh? I feel like it's a concerning conversation. Emergency alert. All hands emergency alert. A false fallen intrusion has been detected in an ARC ship city block. A state of emergency has been declared. I repeat, this is a state of emergency. All ARCs, prepare to scramble and provide backup to the ARC ship under attack. A false fallen intrusion has been detected. ARC ship 128, Themis. A state of emergency has been declared. All ARCs, report to the quest counter and scramble. I repeat. It's time to move out. We anticipate a false spawn presence across all portions of the city area. All arcs, exercise your best judgment in securing the city area and ensuring its safety. All false spawns spotted on the streets are to be eradicated on site. Good luck, operatives. See, I'm almost positive we already took the camp ship, but yeah, you know. Oh, this is actually kind of cool looking. These are like little cutscenes I usually skip over. Okay. Me? I'll follow the emergency directive and scramble, of course. I'm part of ARCS. Master Gedimholt isn't here. I... I can handle myself alone. But, uh... Would you allow me to accompany you? Not indefinitely, just... For a time. That's all I ask. Please... Of course, Sina, of course. Off we go. Ah, let me take care of just making that as small as possible. There we go. This is the first time we've done like just a regular mobbing mission with this setup. These might be a little bit more difficult to kill right now. And Cena, you're using a bubble one star weapon. You're messing with my challenge. Dude, Z aiming on Juan just feels so normal. Emergency code. Let me stack two of these on top of each other. There's two more enemies that spawned. I think we have one released to our advantage later. Completed. It's kind of weird how I was able to use those even during that time frame where it said uh, I couldn't attack or anything. 
Might be because I have my weapon action bound to a different key. But, hey, okay. we'll take it. Wand almost feels like cheating a bit sometimes, man. Let's go double saber a little bit. We'll double saber just a tad. Wand's kind of like insanely safe. It's just really good at mobbing, so it's hard not to use it. Look at all of them. I don't think I've ever seen so many fall spawn in one place before. Where did such a massive swarm originate? I have no idea. Arx is going to suffer massive casualties from this. It won't be easy to recover from. Sometimes I'm not sure whether we're the ones hunting the fall spawn, or if the fall spawn are hunting us. A little bit of both, probably. Regardless, if we don't cut this off at the source, we'll be doomed. That's what I believe. Much how you deal with any infestation, to be fair. See, this is more AoE, so. I feel like using wand is only natural. Now we'll use double saber a little bit. There we go. No, oh, she's still fighting something. It's kind of funny because doing this, like doing the story this way, kind of feels like I'm back in episode one. Oh, just shoots. Because like, 130 PP, 100 HP. Kind of feels like if you weren't really like super geared back in episode one, this is kind of where you were at. Even honestly, like you were fighting for like 130 pp or 100 and uh 150 pp honestly this is one of those moments to look at all these guys together i can just pull them all together just too good at aoeing dude let's do this Ooh, 180 pp let's go Hit them with a little bit of that luminous flare but yeah, back in episode one, you had a fight for uh, having high amounts of PP or high amounts of uh, really anything. Make sure to miss anything. I want to do my best to try to hit S rank on all these. You haven't missed it so far, but eventually it's going to get harder and harder. So. Especially with certain missions. There are some missions, honestly, that we're probably going to allow at least the use of units. Like, just so that way we have some PP to actually fight the monster, or fight the enemies. But we'll stick to one-star weapons. As much as possible, at least. God, these guys are actually kind of tanky. I'm usually used to doing divide solo content, so this kind of feels not too far off. Oh, okay. Oh, that explosion didn't really do too much. Did I do any damage to them at all? I think I just set them on fire, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Normally, you don't want a normal double saber like at all, but. I feel like with this P people, you really don't have a choice. Funny thing is, is like, so recently the uh, closed beta test, it was a, I won't say recently, probably about a month ago at this point, 
we have the closed beta test for NGS. And some players who were testing took their gear in from, you know, base game. Of course, JP only. Their game from base game into NGS and with all of their gear, where we're usually used to seeing like, you know, 2000 HP, close to almost like, you know, depending upon the class, 27 or 270 to 300 PP. They were rocking like, I think it was uh, around 700 HP and 137 PP, something like that. It was pretty low. So that's going to be interesting to get back to. I know for a lot of people, they're also thinking, you know, that's part of the reason why they want to you know, start completely fresh, start completely new, don't take any of their gear in. But honestly, it ain't going to make that much of a difference. <laughs> It's just going to mean one less thing to do when you hit a certain level, which I personally am all about. If you guys follow the content, I'm actually going to be... I actually made a video talking about, like, should you even bother getting gear sets together for NGS? And in that video, I mentioned that I'm going to get one set together for the class, the first, uh, first class that I'm going to level. And that's basically it. I mean, having a weapon for... The early levels for basically every weapon type wouldn't be a bad idea, but it just depends on what you have to do to get that weapon together, you know? Because you can go pretty in depth with this sort of stuff. And it just makes you think, like, back when PSO2 was a very, very new game, what the gear was like, man, because it has gotten pretty crazy in comparison. Oh, get away from that. And so we don't have any units all this stuff would kill us pretty easily you guys saw how easy i was getting uh wrecked by persona by not knowing any of his patterns basically pop that run over here break this turret pop that Move over here as well hit this again go this direction break that Okay, looks like I got some damage in on these guys. Eh, not too bad. These enemies will scale up a little bit later on in uh, episodes. Right now, they're capped at 75. That's where the cap used to be for quite some time, actually. Remember when I actually started playing back in uh, episode 3 originally, the cap was 75, so... This just kind of feels right to me. Where are you going? Also, in case anyone's curious, no, I will not be using Dark Blast. <laughs> Dark Blast is technically something from Episode 5. I don't know why I even looked at that unit. And I was thinking to myself, uh, do I want that? Uh, spoiler alert, no, never. Basically, I will never want any of the drops here. But um, Dark Blast was in... Episode 5 thing, so definitely will not be using that. I don't even plan on using it in Episode 5, to be honest. Oh. Back to the uh, pilots that can't fly. They got me. Yep, there he is. He fell on top of me. Oh, nice. Oh, we have a full-on boss here. Wow. Gotta be a little careful, actually, because usually we can just burst all this stuff down pretty easily, but since we're using one-star weapons, our overall damage output's pretty bad. So I can actually use this combo, which is kind of cool. Which is just infinite on gear and PP. Oh, I accidentally hit a button trying to cancel. On my six. Go ahead and take care of all these guys. So I got Melfoncina. Again, actually, we're gonna drain PP this time. 
pop this and then do it again. For some free damage if we can. I don't know if we got enough. Hostiles, on my six. Uh, hostiles are indeed on your six, yes. I actually don't know that we'll be able to kill this thing in time. Oh, we actually got grabbed. That's a real big problem for us. I'm like trying to get out of this grab by just shaking all the buttons and I'm not getting out at all. Okay, good thing we're on double saber because damage reduction. Of course, that's well. I'm going to do another drain of PP. Oh, we actually killed it. Nice. Still don't know who decided to give Double Saber Focus the effect of reducing damage even further at the cost of Focus. Because to be honest, I would have been happy without that. Losing Focus for any reason is kind of terrible. You can keep the damage reduction. <laughs> he says even though he just used the damage reduction, take only 200 damage earlier, but still. I'd prefer my Focus personally. Ah, excellent timing. You are both with arcs, yes? Could I request your assistance? Wait, that bright white plating. Are you Regius of the Council of Six? Indeed, I am. If you know of me, then I can skip the introductions. I'd heard you'd gone to Navarius. May I ask what you're doing here? <laughs> you are well informed. I am as much a part of Arx as anyone. It is only natural that I would come running to defend our stronghold. That said, the situation is stable, thanks to the efforts of our outstanding Arx operatives. I came too late to make a difference. I understand now. What can we assist you with? Ah, uh, nothing too demanding. I would like you to assist with guiding the civilians in their evacuation. I have my hands full dealing with stubborn castes who refuse to leave their workshops. Typical. You do not both need to assist. Either one of you would do. Ah, in that case I'll help. It would be a good fit for my abilities. In the meantime, please press onward and dispatch the false spawn. I believe the lady has spoken. Modern women think remarkably quickly on their feet. Let's make haste. We'll get this done more quickly if we split up. Hurry! Good grief. Falling behind someone like her makes me realize how much I've gotten on in years. I'd best not keep her waiting. And we will press on alone. That is Regius of the Council of Six. Very, very powerful group of six individuals and in arcs. And he is number one. We'll see more of him later. Actually, funny enough, there's a drop I can actually use. I can break that down for uh, some materials later. It's kind of funny. All right, let's go. see any enemies anywhere. Interesting. Opening bulwarks to storm our way in. Oh, okay. Oh. That works. Didn't we have more?
Oh, it's literally right here. That's kind of annoying. I'm trying to catch the weak spot. There we go. Wait, what is shooting me? <sighs> Unfortunately, I couldn't get the lock on. Keep my distance from that. Oh, I just walked. I literally went flying right into it. I don't think any amount of mashing is going to get me out of this, unfortunately. I'm, like, literally mashing really hard, but mouse and keyboard and all that. I sure can't mash it out of that, though. Oh, it's the shot from the core that's getting me. Come on. Oh, there it is. spot. Nice. Completed. That wasn't too bad. Though this mission is going to press out the uh, length of this video. We're going to try to keep these videos down to each chapter, so some of them may end up being a bit longer. We may end up having to do them in two parts. We'll have to see. Oh, Ragnar just spawned. What? Okay, cool. That's another enemy that I very commonly don't actually fight too often. Is Ragnar? Hey, where'd he go? Oh, Ragnar can teleport. Didn't know that. That's going to be me saying that a lot. Like, oh, I was unaware of this. Dude, all this to break a single leg. This is actually pretty crazy. I could go for his weak spot the entire time, or I could break these legs. I don't know why I'm feeling compelled to break the legs. I feel like Ragnar owes me money or something. Oh, that hit really hard. And that hit really hard as well. Well, good news, this is up. Okay, that happened at a different rate than the other stuff. I assumed it would happen when he brought his hands down, but it didn't.
Yep. We can get a lot. So this is where things are getting annoying. The enemies, like, you're behind them, essentially, consistently. And they're trying to keep you from being behind them, essentially. They want to turn around. And you can't see anything. But yeah, he is, his leg is in a spot where I can't actually deal damage to it. Need to move over here. Come on. Come on. Just do a lot of those and we'll be good to go. So I was thinking about changing the series up just a little bit. While the cutscenes are cool, think about maybe just setting it to fights by itself, like just all of the fights in the ep or in, um, in these. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Kind of curious. Yeah, actually, didn't stay down for very long there. I think it would give us much, or it'd make the videos a better length, and we can give a bit of context. So basically, what I can do is before each episode give some context as to where we are because like the fights themselves like usually those episodes are the more interesting ones to watch at least those portions of the episode and it would drastically shorten the amount of time that's used in the episode itself but i mean we can keep it to everything being included this is already about 30 minutes long and we still haven't even finished the chapter That's mostly because this fight's taken a while. Realistically, I can't even do this combo. Actually. Nice, we got him. Completed. Not too bad. So it takes a while, but no, we'll do what we can. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know the fights are kind of the more like interesting thing of doing this. But then you lose on on contact. I'm just not 100 percent sure, honestly. was just talking about getting a decent rank. We took way too much damage. Oof, that feels bad, man. Either way, let's keep going. Sorry for asking you to come all this way, but I'm afraid it's about the damaged weapon I haven't finished restoring. To get straight to the point, someone broke in here and stole it. We still have no idea who the culprit is. Someone broke into my workshop the other day. I imagine they took advantage of the chaos that ensued when the fall spawn attacked. But they didn't touch any of my finished projects or the data for other designs. That weapon was the only thing they stole. 
However, it's still not completely restored. It's all technically in one piece now, but it's useless in its current state. That much should have been clear at a glance, and yet it was still the only thing the thief took. I just don't understand it. Still, I've got a bad feeling about this. Even when I was putting it back together, I could feel something dangerous getting stronger the closer I got to completing it. But I digress. I'm sorry I let this happen after you entrusted me with it. All the same, I don't understand why the thief made off with only that. What is that weapon anyway? There's still so much I don't know. All I do know is there's something unnerving going on here. So the weapon was stolen during everything that was going on with the invasion earlier. Unfortunate. Hello. I'm only interested in one thing. Becoming stronger and eliminating the false bond. Please tell me. Why did she have to die? So, I don't know if they go into this very much, but currently, Ulk died during the, uh, the attack, so. Something that you'll catch if you watch the anime. Why her? She was working so hard and doing her best despite her lack of talent, and, and yet, her lifelong dream was finally coming true, and, and yet... Sorry, that was a pointless question. The time for thinking has long passed. All I have to do is eliminate every last false bond. That will put an end to everything. Yeah, I know now. That's the one and only thing I can do. Yeah, I don't let they talk about it in the side stories or anything like that, but Ulk dies. And uh, in the invasion of the false bond assault, so unfortunate. Hey, um, I just want to thank you. I mean, like, for what you do. The rest of us can live in peace because you are all out there fighting for us. Gratitude is all I can offer, so I'd like to at least voice it out loud. But sometimes I wonder. What is peace? All of us in the city live peacefully, but those of you in arcs out there are getting hurt. You never get to enjoy what you fight so hard for. Can it even be called peace when it's so fragmented? So incomplete? I can't remember. No, I don't even know. What does peace really mean? There I go rambling again. I know, I know. Everything's going to be okay, as long as you're here. Oh, my toy. And then finally, more ambiguous notes from Jian. A new divergence matrix has been born. It straddles the precipice of reality and truth. As it always does. I and we trust in your fulfillment. In the conclusion you will reach. Believe in yourself. Believe in what you have accomplished and what you should achieve. Huh? Talk about a plot twist! The fixed weapon was stolen! Yep, and that's the only line you get, Alma. And that about wraps things up, so... This episode was much longer just because of the false spawn assault. And there are a lot of other missions where we're going to have to go through stuff and uh, fight tons of waves of enemies and then a few bosses. So these will start to get a little longer. I'm kind of trying to feel out what we're going to do. Um, I think I might have an idea how things are going to go. But I don't know just yet. As you can see, there's quite a lot that we have left over still. So 
thanks again for watching guys um i mean not much to say about this one here kind of some cool stuff going on i don't like the fact that they didn't really give much about what was going on with Ulk. it kind of just like gets thrown in there and honestly had i not watched the anime up to that point i would have even known that happened other than just kind of getting context clues from theo maybe it's it's mentioned somewhere else and i just missed it it might be something that was left out from the uh from the whole old matter board system maybe something like along those lines but uh unfortunate anyway guys thanks for watching i'll see you all in the next episode take care peace out oh yeah like comment subscribe all that good stuff